Charlie here and most likely you're a projector. So within the human design system you're a projector. That's what we're talking about today. I'm a projector as well and there's actually four different types within this system. Generators, manifestors, reflectors and projectors. So knowing about this system and working with this system and knowing that you're a projector and working with this and I'm going to give four tips how to work with your this type best can and will have a profound impact on your life. I found out about this system about probably three years ago and I've noticed as I've gone deeper and deeper and found out more I've had such incredible realizations and I've aligned my life with who I am deep down and it's made everything so much more in flow so I really want to share some of these bits of wisdom that I've gained over the, the few years in brief that can also assist you on your, your journey. So as projectors we need to be invited or recognized before taking action. For example if you're in a business or something like that and you're constantly trying to make things happen. You're going up to people and you're saying, oh, you need to do this or how about we do this. How? Most likely you're, you've discovered that it's not really recognized very well or it's not, you know, there's maybe an off feeling and you're like, well, why, aren't, why isn't anyone recognizing me? Or if you're in a boardroom and you sort of just speak when you haven't been asked to speak, maybe people won't even hear what you say or maybe they won't listen whereas someone else will say the similar thing and you're like hey but I sort of just said that but everyone's like yeah 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 to like another person and it's really interesting and this has a deep this is because you're a projector and you really need to be you have to wait to be invited or recognized so if someone says oh so what do you think therefore they've given you the power and the link to share your wisdom because as projectors we have a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge to share but it will only be received when invited or recognized and you might be thinking oh well that's pretty annoying like why can't I just go out there and it's just the way the system works and as projectors it's okay we're not here to work and work and work and work and do and do and do and do we're actually here to enjoy life and then when we're invited or recognized through synchronicity then we actually link up and we live our authentic lives so four things that can really help you on your journey knowing about is number one we're here to work part-time not full-time that's obviously difficult if we've got financial problems we're trying to up upkeep a family etc and we're working full-time and just but see if you can find space for your hobby and see if you can find more and more space for your hobby and see if you can turn that into maybe a little bit of revenue for example and say if that hobby became something bringing in a little bit of revenue you'd be living more in alignment with your true self therefore life will be filled with more synchronicities and therefore you'll have more energy and feel more energized and yes you may still have another job but you may down the track actually be able to switch or switch to maybe part time that job part time your hobby something like this but we're not here to work full time no matter what we want to do what we think we want to do it's not our way of being so 70% of the populator population they're generators and they are okay at working full time a lot they've got a lot of energy to burn and unfortunately as projectors we've sort of just hooked onto that and we think we're the same as everyone else. So see if you can manage part-time work somehow. Number two, our aura. So the energy that we, we radiate and our external energy is our aura. And our aura is actually penetrative. Okay? Whereas a generator, 70% of the population, their aura is open and enveloping. So a really interesting point here is if you've noticed that you're actually maybe talking in a group of three people and someone's talking and you think that, well, they're talking, but they're mainly talking to the other person who I'm standing with. 
okay? Most likely the other person's a generator and their aura is open and enveloping and yours is penetrative, which can put a lot of people off. But when invited or recognized, it's beautiful. People love it. But if you're sitting there going, oh, people don't like me as much. Why don't they look at me? Why don't they give me their attention? Why are they always looking at other people I'm with, etc., etc.? Which is what happened to me. I used to be in groups of people and I used to go, oh, maybe I'm not that charismatic. Maybe why aren't people looking at me, etc.? This is simply because our aura is much more penetrative rather than open and enveloping. So really good to know take the stress off and relax that you know it's got nothing to do with you you don't have a problem it's not that you're not confident or you're not a good social interactor it's actually just the way the system is okay you can try and go against the system but you it'll just be an uphill battle so that is uh, number two the aura number three simple one go to bed early as penetrators we don't have the abundance of energy that generators do or even manifestors have a decent amount of energy but as projectors often I work with people through health and vitality and a lot of people I work with are projectors this is because they don't have that motor that infinite burning motor of energy that they think they have because everyone else seems to be doing it and they try and keep up and they just get burnt into the ground and then they get sick and then they end up with something that they don't want to end up with physically. So rest is vitally, vitally important for projectors. So go to bed before you're tired. If you're going to bed at 10.30 when you're really tired, try and get into bed before 10 and maybe read, horizontal, start relaxing, start you know, relaxing your body, relaxing your mind. Get to bed before you're tired is very important. And number four, which I've already briefly touched on, but actually, projectors are here to play. Let that, let that sink in a little bit. Because as projectors, we've actually been conditioned to work and work and work and think and think and think. But we're actually here to play and follow our bliss. So whenever you're playing and following your bliss, you're more in alignment with your life, your true self, and therefore you'll invite more synchronicities into your life and things will start to feel more downhill rather than uphill. So start following that, that feel good feeling. Create more space and times for things that feel good. Maybe after this video you can literally write down five things that make you feel good. It's a great question. And then commit every day. I'm going to do one of these things every day because feeling good is so important for us. So as a projector to another projector, I wish you the best on your journey. And if you like this video, there'll be more to come. So subscribe, like, and share it. And all the best for your journey.